check it out, come from it, it's full of set Run on and I'm done set Back of the class, man, I'm a subject Even if I'm going on, I'm doing my own upset It's part of my heart, but you're a junkie You're the king, I'm not a mix, you're the fucking set You and me, you're the subject You and me, you're the subject Grab that, grab that, stay in the home, no fraud Ha-ha, science, hold on, play out Good morning guys. I'm at the European Wax Center and I'm about to get a wax. Um, it is the first of the month and music is playing so I'm going to be quick. But I also get off probation this month and I got my first line this month. So I have a lot to explain when I get back home. Good night B-Squad. Um, it is actually hours after I last spoke to you. I'm gonna try to do like a two to three minute catch up really quickly. So today is November 1st. I will be off probation literally um, in six days. My probation release meeting is next Tuesday, um, the 7th of November. So I'm really, really excited for that. I'll bring you along, of course. Um, the next thing that is really exciting, I got a line. I got my first actual schedule. That's what we call it, a line. Um, I know exactly where I'm going this month. I can drop trips. I can pick up trips. Currently, I'm at 127 hours and like 28 minutes of flight time. Um, so I'm really, really excited. That next paycheck. Well, I have a two paychecks coming before I get that one but that paycheck next month is gonna look beautiful um especially because some of them are international trips well um it's non it's called a NIPD non-international premium destination which is like the Caribbean some parts of Mexico etc etc um yeah so I'll be going to Jamaica two times I didn't even like I did share it y'all saw the vlog already but I got to go to Jamaica as the lead flight attendant and that's not a trip I picked up that's a trip I was assigned so that was just absolutely amazing to me it just felt amazing like I met some crew members not crew members team members um in the Kingston airport which like now I'm very like grateful and I look forward to seeing them every time I go back I got a Jamaica pin, um, which I can show y'all tomorrow. I also got like a breast cancer pin from one of the team members at the Kingston airport that has a Jamaica flag on the, the bottom of the pink ribbon. Amazing. And then the next thing that I wanted to get y'all caught up on backtracking is that I know exactly where I'm going. So like I'm really excited. Um, I know how to pack and if anything I can drop trips and pick up what I want if I see like a London I can try to drop that trip and pick up the London or if I see another Caribbean trip that I want I can do that or I can trade out my trips with people so that that's absolutely crazy to me and I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what you know the other side is like for this month um, tomorrow though I'm going to uh texas and i'm going to south carolina i'll be spending the night in greensboro south carolina it's a very short layover so i'm probably just gonna go to the gym i can't remember what time we reach but if we reach before two or three o'clock i'll go to the pool because i think they have an outdoor pool and then day after tomorrow I'm going back to dallas and then from dallas to san antonio where we have a longer layover and that we definitely get there like early like 10 30 something in the morning so i'll definitely hit up the gym and then go straight to the pool uh to get some sun and you know to enjoy the water and the weather and then on the third day coming back from dallas yeah we're, no we we're in san antonio to dallas and then dallas back to jfk so i'm really really excited i was gonna fly with one of um a girl that i know but she traded out of the trip for some caribbean trips so she she was excited to fly with me too but she thought i was gonna trade out of the trip so she traded out of the trip so now we, don't, we won't see each other so that sucks but um in the future i'm sure we'll fly again but anywho 
I will see you guys tomorrow, probably on the plane. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I did a lot of what I was supposed to do already. So what I'm doing now is um, setting up for the flight. I have some meals that I need to count and I need to prepare my pre-departure beverage. But you know, I gotta crush some ice and I brought uh, food with me. So I wanna put some ice in my lunch kit as well. We also board in about 15 minutes. So, but we are missing a flight attendant. But they got time, they got 15 minutes. They're probably gonna send somebody from reserve. And I think I know who. I think I hear them coming. So I'm gonna crush up my ice. Crush all of this up. Hi, welcome on board. Um, you're the number three, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm Christian. Christian and Bacana. Bacana. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Okay, let me do all of what I need to do and then I'll come back. I keep looking at myself and I don't want to get, I don't want to turn into that person. So I need to look at the lens, so I'll be right back. Hey B Squad, I'm at the Layover Hotel in Greensboro. North Carolina, never been here before. I'll probably drive by it because way back when, like way, way, way back when, before I even went to um, high school, I think it was before I went to high school, probably right as I was going to high school, um, I did a road trip with Auntie Judy, Uncle Dwight, um, and their kids, and we drove from Buffalo, New York to Charlotte, South Carolina, and it was a lot of fun. Um, a very long 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 road trip so probably pass by here <laughs> but um we're here for like the night basically not long at all I'm actually getting ready to go to the gym um, it is the 2nd of November and I'm trying to stay fit and active um, if not the gym but just keeping my body moving like yesterday I walked um to get the wax <laughs> so that was really nice um and it was a long walk and then i stopped at the supermarket coming back and i had walked with a baggage so it was a nice like a workout yesterday it was more cardio and just walking outside but we're heading to the gym we're gonna do some upper body and i'm gonna do some cardio on the treadmill so bye i will see you guys in the morning because when i come i'm gonna bathe and go sleep yeah that's really it um i think i will show you though real quick before i head downstairs what's in my flat attendant lunch kit because i'm starting to take it more serious this month so we'll see if i can keep it up so i've already unpacked everything this is a lunch kit that i got from um my company and i have a everything bagel it was in a ziploc but i don't want to put it in the fridge I'm gonna show you what Ziploc it was in. Um, I have some chocolate that I got from a passenger. I'm gonna bring this from mommy because it's more her taste than mine. I love milky chocolate, caramel chocolate, that type of stuff. It's very much giving coffee. Um, in here, I have a bunch of snacks, uh, very healthy snacks. Um, I have some tangerine. I brought one of these containers with um, cereal. So this is gonna be one of my breakfasts um, along with some other stuff that I'll have on the plane. And then I believe on the last day back, I'll just have this with some cereal for, with some milk for breakfast. Um, and then I have some treats cause I don't wanna buy myself anything. So I already bought like some chocolate and pretzels. Um, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, but I can eat like half, you know, when I have a craving for something chocolatey and sweet. So I just want to prepare myself for that. Instead of buying like a $4 candy bar, why not just buy this? And it comes in a big like family size bag and split it over my different trips. 
and then some more snacks, some kind bars, um, some pistachios. I have some tea, like Wolipa tea, stuff here, green tea, chamomile tea, peppermint tea, ginger tea, etc. etc. And you know, just some more snacks. That's really that. And then um I put stuff in the fridge. So I have salad. I bought a bag of salad. Um, I did cut up some tomato. I'm not going to open it up. I really only have one hand. But I did cut up some tomato as you can see. And um, I have some cucumber that I cut up as well. You can kind of see some right there. And everything else came in the salad bag. So I got three servings and it was very accurate in the back. The back said three servings and that's exactly what I got. I don't have any meat but if, some, if I had some grilled chicken I would have brought that with me for the salad but we just like to eat it so 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 i have the dressing this is what my bagel was in but i have the dressing and some toppings that came with the salad i didn't even know until like i was sharing out the salad and this just dropped out of the bag so i'm gonna put that on here and that's why i put it in the ziploc because i'm not gonna use all of it in one night and then i have some um cream cheese some chive and onion cream cheese spread for my bagel I'm going to toast it in the oven and spread that on. I also brought some um, diced up um, strawberries and I have some baby carrots. I'm going to enjoy for you know, the snacking. And then I have some jerk chicken um, from a good <laughs> from the time I went to Jamaica, but it's always been like, like in the fridge. So I'm going to eat it tonight with the salad because I don't want to have this for another night <laughs> so yeah that's basically it um that should last me the like two nights i'm away from home the two nights and three days and you know obviously sometimes when there's leftover food on the plane we get to eat it so very fortunate in that way um and then like i said this is my breakfast this is like everything bagel that's why it looks so spotty because it's literally everything bagel i love everything bagels and with a um chive and uh garlic cream cheese get the heck out like you can't tell me this will taste amazing it's gonna taste amazing uh and that's really it have a water and yeah i'm gonna head to the gym now i'll see you guys when i get back or in the morning bye good morning it is 4 42 a.m and waiting for the plane to do what it needs to do we're getting some ice hold on let me put you under here <laughs> some more ice thank you for flying with us squad i'm back in the hotel i hope that you like those clips i inserted from my phone um i didn't even take any pictures of the food um the captain paid for our meal and i just thought that was so so nice like we just had the longest conversation it was me and one of my um like flight attendant crew members it was also the captain and the first officer and amazing it was just uh, one of the best crew dinner slash lunch or lunch slash dinner that no it's like lunch slash dinner dinner it was like around 12 30 that we we had a food and stuff uh that i've ever had and 
I've had many, like I could count on five hands, how many amazing crew meals that I've had, um, or even just interactions over food <laughs> that I've had. Um, and that was definitely top two. Uh, it was so nice. Um, we talked about a lot, like we shared different perspectives, how it's like being a flight attendant for us, um, new hire and somebody that's been here for at least a good, you know, three years. So our, both of our perspectives along with the pilot's perspective on, you know, what the job is or what it means to each of us is just something else you know it was just really really nice and we got to bond over food not only that but we were already spending all of our trip together because normally well not even normally but as a norm now we don't get to keep the pilots or the pilots don't get to keep us um we do like one or maybe even two flights together and we never see each other again but this trip we've been together the three days so we're doing two flights a day for three days with the same crew from from flight deck to the cabin okay so uh that's really really nice we walked around and everything and as you saw the river walk like how absolutely beautiful um, I didn't pull out my camera when we we're at the table because like this is our first like real interaction I just didn't want to pull out my camera um, And they were wondering like, you know, why did you pull out your camera? But I'm just like Sometimes like I I would have even taken a picture of the food, but sometimes just like let me just Not but I love doing it. I don't care. I'm gonna keep doing it But when I get to know people then obviously it's easier for me to do that or when it's not like as, as big of a group Like if it's me and another flight attendant or even me and another like pilot then I'll be pulling out my camera and stuff But when it is like a big amount of us, I try to keep it I try to keep it on the low so the clips that I got uh, of the river walk were from my phone which don't let having a phone and not a digital camera deter you from being a vlogger do you see that quality on the phone like be for real look at the quality on the phone it's absolutely amazing but anyways i'm all set and ready everything is lined up my uniform hung up my shoes and everything underwear and everything everything that goes in my pockets to around my neck to in my lunch kit my makeup my face routine everything is exactly where it needs to be so i can get up because our pickup time is 3 30 a.m that means i gotta get up by like 2 2 30 to get ready so i think that's the earliest i've probably ever gotten up um and our departure time is literally 5 a.m so even this morning was super early but i did not i got up like around 3 30 so the time that we're leaving today is the time that I got up yesterday. So I'm getting up pretty early. Uh, I'm just going to watch some movies. I got my laptop here and I have packed a lunch. So I have some treats. I already talked about it, I think, yesterday. I'm going to eat the rest of that. And I have my water, my phone charging, my watch is charging. I'm going to put it on because when my alarm goes off, I like to feel a little vibration on my hand because it, it just helps wake me up um but that's it i hope you've been liking the vlog so far i know i've been talking for the longest time right now so let me shut up and i'll see you on the last day many people around and I'm vlogging and I don't care because people can judge you wherever you are in the world their thoughts aren't gonna hurt you so anywho I am at LaGuardia and I'm heading to Miami and my flight is delayed by an hour but I was just telling my TikTok and if you haven't gone over to my TikTok to check it out you should um, yeah I was telling my TikTok that 
that can change at a moment's notice because I've had experience with flights being delayed umpteenth times and then boops like back to regular time regular programming so I'm by the gate and it's pretty packed there's a lot of flights leaving within the same time frame so it's a packed terminal um, but I'm heading to Miami and then after Miami I'm heading to Kingston so three this is the third video um, from the last time I went um, I don't know what is in store for this time it's a shorter layover and I get there in the afternoon so and I leave early in the morning and then coming back tomorrow it's just Kingston to Miami Miami back to LaGuardia which is Monday and today is Sunday so they're trying to get two people to volunteer for the um, yeah they're trying to get people to volunteer for the exit rows which you get like I'm gonna tell y'all a little trick but when you at least for my airline and y'all know um, here you go oh you can get a free bev alcoholic beverage in the exit row and you get more leg space. So. Alright, when I get on the plane, I'll talk to you guys because they're going to keep talking. Like I said, there's a lot of flights leaving around the same time. So, when I get on the plane, I will see you guys. Guys, I'm on the plane. I already did my pre-flights. Obviously, no passengers are here. But I will catch you guys when I get to Miami. Right. Still do those forms for Jamaica, right? The for online. Go online now and do it. Yeah. Oh, I have to do it. Yes, we all have to do it. Does Guys, it you got to do your form. It, it doesn't have to be. They don't give us the paper anymore. But when you reach the airport, they're gonna have you fill out the paper. So if you want to go online and fill out the form now, you can go type in Enter Jamaica, search, and it's the one that comes up with the Jamaican flag. You'll see the Jamaican flag. Yeah, because they will pull you aside and tell you to fill out the form. So that's a fun fact for you guys as well. If you want, make sure you go online if you're entering Jamaica. But I am. Yes, it is. We've already done all of our pre flights and briefings. Um, let me try to show you guys catering really quickly. But I'm on the plane heading to Jamaica again, and I'm really happy. I have one more trip at the end of the month. Like, who am I? Who is she? And we're boarding, boarding. All right, bye-bye. I finally made it to the room. And let me show you a little room tour really quickly. So this is when he came in. I think I did it last time. So I'm just going to be very, very quick. But closet, mini fridge, safe. Bathroom. Mirror. Hmm. Let me show you the view in the daytime. I definitely did a room tour before. So if you haven't watched my first Fly With Me To Jamaica video, you have to check it out. So this is the view in the day. I'm going to get some better shots for you guys because the camera, like all the lights is coming from obviously outside. So the camera not picking it up as well. But I will see you guys in a minute. Fair break then, and you kill me? to junction and I may go on the new highway so 
I don't have my drone with me to get no drone shots, but I'll be back plenty more times. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for the bike footage. On my phone. Oh god. Oopsies. I'm gonna hit chat like I'm on my phone. I'll be going in between my phone and um the camera. So if you see different different footages, just bear with me.
Bye-bye.